Hey everybody, just want to take a moment to talk to you about aerobic versus anaerobic exercise. The other day I posted a video about the importance of cardiovascular exercise and I just wanted to talk a little bit more about aerobic versus anaerobic and what those differences are. So what is aerobic? Basically otherwise known as cardiovascular exercise and occurs in the presence of oxygen. So oxygen is being used while we perform this exercise. Anaerobic is resistance training or weightlifting and occurs when oxygen is not present. Key point here is that exercise requires energy. All exercise requires some form of energy. But these two different types of exercise use different energy systems and have different byproducts that happen as a result of that. Aerobic or cardio uses glycogen and fat. And as you breathe heavily, you release CO2 from the body. Because of that, we do not produce lactic acid or that kind of burning sensation. The benefits of aerobic exercise is that you can improve your mood. So as I talked before and uh, saying that you need about 20 minutes of cardio to release all those positive hormones that make us feel better. It also strengthens our heart and our lungs. Anaerobic or resistance training uses just the glycogen system, but because it does not use oxygen, it has a byproduct of something called lactic acid. So that's that burning sensation when we do lifting or weight uh, resistance exercises. So for this reason, we can only really do it in short bursts. Why do we do it? Because it helps build lean muscle mass and increases our calorie expenditure even after we work out. So one thing about cardio is it only burns calories during the actual exercise versus anaerobic, you get that lovely afterburn. So if you're wondering, okay, what's the difference between anaerobic and aerobic? Think about the difference between sprinters and marathon runners. Marathon runners can get into a steady state and use oxygen versus sprinters are just going all out until they're done and basically suck up all the oxygen afterwards. Um, so that brings me to the workout that I'm going to do today, an AMRAP. If you were in my class, you've probably done one or two of these before. And what it stands for is as many rounds as possible in a given amount of time. This combines aerobic and any, the anaerobic energy systems. So what's awesome is you get the benefits of the aerobic systems. So we're gonna feel really good afterwards and it will help our heart and lungs, as well as getting the benefits of the anaerobic energy system where you get the afterburn and increased calorie expenditure, which is probably a good thing right now while we're all in quarantine. So um, you're gonna give yourself a given amount of time and that can be anywhere between eight and 25 minutes. And then you can set yourself up with a series of different exercises. This is the system that I've been using lately, but there's a whole pile of them and you can really design it however you want. But I like to have a cardio exercise, an upper body exercise, a core exercise, and a lower body exercise. And for today, I've picked skaters push-ups knees to bar and box jumps. And I've given myself um, 25 repetitions for cardio and lower body and only five repetitions for the upper body and core. So I'm gonna give this a go today, see how many rounds I can get in, I think about 15 minutes. I'm gonna set myself a 15 minute time limit. Hope this was helpful, give this a try and I'll meet you back here next time.